and here we have the video review of TFC Iron Army World War II Brutal Kits. I mean Iron Army Power Core Combiner Limbs. <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, you'll see what I mean by World War II Brutal Kits later on. But uh, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Um, uh, I actually got these guys for a really sweet deal off eBay. Just took a lot of patience. I got these guys for uh. 26 uh, both sets set A this is either set A or B and this is either set A or B I forget which one's which but these two come as a set and these two come as a set pretty friggin awesome but uh yeah um like one set comes with a pair of add-on parts which is a hand and a foot and both yeah and, um, uh, yeah, they're really freaking awesome. I got these guys for a deal. Alright. Online shops, these guys are about 30 bucks. A piece. This set's 30, and this one's 30. Or 35, or whatever. Well, that's, that's $70. If they're both 35 a piece. Uh, shipping, that's 80 bucks. I got these guys $16.50. $10 shipping. It just took a lot of patience. <laughs> I mean, I just got these guys on Monday. I bought, it's like, I won the auction on eBay. They got shipped out on September 6th. I just got these guys on Monday. <laughs> oh, jeez. My patience was just about shot. Plus, I thought it was a sham. I thought it was too good to be true. But, here they are. And they are not knockoffs. There are no knockoffs of these guys. None that I know of, so. And the... If they were knockoffs, they would have broken by now. I mean, I've dropped, I've dropped these guys. They would have been broken in package if they, these guys were knockoffs, with the way they got shipped to me. <laughs> but um, uh, we have here the. This guy is the P51 Mustang. This first guy here. Uh, they all come with cards, and if you see, P51 Mustang. It's, a, it's really hard to read and it won't focus. It says P-51 Mustang Fighter. has a nice diagram up there. Has the, it has it in Chinese or Japanese over here. I think it's Chinese. It's not... Uh, uh, shoot. Yeah, I forgot. Um, yeah. But it says P-51 Mustang Fighter, nationality, USA. Wingspan, 11.29 meters. Length, 9.83 meters. Height, 4.17 meters. Weight, 3.2 tons. Max speed, 72... 721 kilometers an hour. Armament, 12.7 millimeter arrow gun times 6. That would be... I don't see where the 6th one is, but I see 1, 2, 3, 4... I don't see the, the other... There should be like one more. I don't see it. See him. But, uh, I guess they'd probably be there. Maybe. Well, actually, that wouldn't make sense, because they'd be shooting. They'd probably, they might hit the propeller. So. Or, actually, I think... Right here. That might be it. It's just not painted. So that's actually not bad. Um, We're actually gonna cover this guy first, uh, transformation-wise and everything. Um, this one's gonna be a pretty long review, guys, so... And this... Not bad, um... Fold it... Fold his wings up like this. Fold this... Fold the wing in like this. You wanna fold this part up. And we'll fold the tip of the wing inwards like this. And he has an elbow right there. And you wanna put it straight down. And you wanna pull this down. I find it easier to pull that down. Then you wanna split the legs apart. Pull out his gun. Transform his gun, you want to pull this part out, and you want to pull that out. And there we go. Got his gun. Then you want to fold his legs out like this. Fold that back up. Do the same for the other wing. Fold that in. Do that. Fold to the side. There we go. Then you want to fold this part back. There we got our P-51 Mustang drone. Who am I like to call Vortex? You 
get it later. I'll, I'll show you. But here we have our P-51 Mustang, I must say. Pretty nice figure. Um, articulation-wise, his head turns. Arm moves out like this. Rotates like this. Has an elbow. No, no articulation there. Legs move out about that far. Move forward and up about that much. And his legs can fold all the way back like that. No, his legs are pretty hollow, but he can he can stand. These are nice little drones, and these are smaller than Scout class figures. I mean, these are in between a Legend and a Scout class figure, and they got this much articulation. Love you, TFC. Let's put this guy in the back. One last look at the card. Look at the artwork. Pretty nice artwork. I mean, he's missing some details there in the picture, but that's okay. Um, we got, let's put him back. Here's his buddy, um, Tiger One, that he came packaged with. Um, nice artwork here. Turn this around. Um, you probably see moss flying out the window. It's nighttime. I got light on. Um, nice diagram of the tank and everything, front, the back, top, side view, love it. Um, same, this is in Chinese, this is English, Tiger One tank, nationality, Germany. These are World War II vehicles, so they actually, these are actual vehicles that they did use in World War II, if no one understands that. So this actually got used by the Germans in World War II. Probably as part of the Blitzkrieg or something like that. Actually, Germany, length, 6.31 me 6 meters. That's not feet, meters. So, uh, I'm not gonna, I can't convert it in my head. Oh, the card's bent up at the corner. That sucks. Oh, well, that's probably what happens with shoddy shipping packaging. I mean, these things were like a wrap. These things were like in a bag that was wrapped up in tape. <laughs> so, to keep them in place. So, yeah, it was really bad. Um, I still have the packaging. I might show it at the end of the review. But, uh, height, 3 meters. Weight, 57 tons. Weighs more than that. That thing weighs 3 tons. This guy's pretty heavy duty thing. Max speed, 38 kilometers. He could outrun him. Um, kilometers per hour. Armament, 88 millimeter KWK 36L slash 56 times one of those. That's probably this turret here. And then 7.92 millimeter MG 34s times two. That's probably um, I have no idea where that actually is on him. Um, hmm, where are those on him? I mean, there's something here that looks like a gun. Um, I mean, I think I don't know where they're at on him, but okay. Um, one last look at the card. Pretty nice artwork, I like it. I really love the artwork. Whoever does the artwork for TFC, TFC's characters on, and packaging and all that, God, you're a wonderful artist. Talented, man. A girl, whoever does it, talented person. Talented human being. Um, transform this guy, what you want to do is pull this up. Pull this back, actually, and remove the turret. Fold the legs down, fold the feet out like this. Um, fold the arms out, fold them out. And go ahead and give this guy this. And give Tiger or give Swindle here. I mean, Tiger M1 is gone, and there we go. And you must be wondering, it's like, he looks nothing like Swindle. Why'd you call him that? You'll see what I'll you'll see what I'm talking about later. I swear. Keep screwing this up, but still, articulation-wise, nah, same amount as him basically, except there's a little more here in the arm. He kind of has like a double joint up here in the arm. His arm moves out. It can move all the way around, but it's hindered by the backpack. Head moves all the way around. Waist articulation, thigh swivel. Leg moves out, all the way back, all the way out, moves like this. His toe can move in 
and out like that. Not bad for a small, smaller than a scout class figure. The tank guys are shorter. Uh, just a little bit shorter than his buddy there. And here we go to the J7 Finden. That's let's give them their respective parts here. Put them in front. Here we go. Has J7 Finden. Here we got the artwork. If you didn't notice, they these guys actually have their heads are designed to look like the helmets the soldiers or pilots or whatever would wear. It's actually pretty nice. This guy's got that weird cloth cap thing going on. Uh, here we go. And I don't know if this thing actually ever got made or if it was just a prototype. I don't know if they actually used these or if it was just it was something that they were going to use but they never got to use. But um, I would say if they did use this, this is probably why we run one of the war. I mean, I think these things, if anything, these were the things that went Banzai! And kamikaze So, I mean, if this thing were to get in a dogfight, because if you look here in the picture, how this thing flies, because that's the front of this thing. Side view, top view, bottom view. If you look at this thing, if it flies like this, Look what's in the back. Propeller. This is the thing that keeps this thing going. Um, yeah. You take this sucker out, this thing's going down. <laughs> um, I don't know if they actually use those, but that would explain why we won the war. Uh, a J-7 Shinden fighter, nationality of Japan. Wingspan, 11.11 millimeters. Length, 9.76. Height, 3.55 meters. Not millimeters. Meters, not millimeters. <laughs> Messed up. Weight, 4.95 tons. This weighs more than that. I actually think this thing's actually bigger than a P-15 Mustang. Um, Punk speed, seven, 750 kilometers an hour. Arm in it. 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter arrow gun, time four. Yeah, there's four of them. One, two... One, two. And plus it has bombs right here, so... Nah. Yeah, not that bad, actually. Um, one last look at the artwork. Love it. Love the artwork. Love it. Um, transform this guy. You want to remove... <sighs> want to start off by doing this. Unhooking this and unhooking that. Then you want to move this up like... Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, there we go. The oh, bears. I wanna move this like this. There you have his gun. Then you wanna pull this down, swing it out, push that back in, pull it apart. You got the legs. Then you wanna push this to the side, twist it like this the flat part facing upwards. Wanna move this part back, revealing the head. For the arms, you wanna hold this part in here on both sides and fold in the tip of the wings in like that. And then he has that elbow bend. They really all four like the the two planes transform the same, the tanks transform the same really. Only minor differences. And give him his gun, and there we have last off, I mean, the J7 Shinden. Um, oh shoot, he drops his gun. Give him his gun. Same articulation. Shoulders move. Kind of, you could count that as added articulation. Legs move in. Knee. Swivels at the head. Swivel, elbow swivel. He doesn't have that joint that the other one has, so... There we go. Let's put him here. Give him his respective combiner part. Here we have the last guy, the T-34 tank. Nice artwork, a Russian tank. Or Soviet Union, actually. T-34 tank, nationality. Soviet Union, length 6.1 meters. 
height, 2.743 meters. Weight, 32 tons. Max speed, 55 kilometers per hour. Armament, 85 millimeter, 85 millimeter, something three weird backwards in C minus C, 53 times one. That would be this, obviously. And 7.62 millimeter, some weird thing, T M times two. So that's probably like a little gun or something on him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those tank specs are really weird for the guns, but okay. Um, nice artwork. I like the helmet. It's kind of like those fur caps or whatever. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. Now let's get this last guy transformed. Take off the, that. And here's one thing I like about this guy. His, his face. It... It, it's freaking, it, it's flesh tone. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, it's like, oh, so this, it's a guy, it's a person that transforms into it. No, it's a robot still, I think. I don't know. You know what? These could be knockoffs. I don't know. Are these, are these the final colors? I mean, I haven't looked at the final, at the, last time I, the only review I really watched of these was P.O.S., so because that was the only one I saw that was up for these, so... These could be knockoffs, for all I know. And if they are, they're pretty damn... They're damn good knockoffs, because nothing's broken on them yet. And yeah, this guy, I like giving him... Giving it to him on his arm, because he's the tank. Now that we got Brawl, and the rest of the combat... I mean, Iron Army, and T-34 done... <laughs> I just sent T-34, he's the Terminator. He's the Terminator. There we go. We got those guys done. Now, these guys turn into Power Core Combiner limbs. No, not these kind, not this kind of... snap back up into action limbs. They turn into actual poseable limbs. Well, we need a... We need a Power Core... Um body for it. Oh, there we go. Already ready for it, too. Hmm. Oh, heavy tread. Wow. Huh. I forgot I even had you. Oh, yeah, because I was waiting on getting these guys. But, uh, let's see. There we go. Got heavy tread all ready, transformed up and ready, and let's start off with, uh, our first, our right arm here. What you want to do is keep this folded. You want to fold this part back up. Pull this part down. Fold this in like the like so. Then you want to peg this here. And you want to peg it all together. And there you got our not not right arm or left arm. <laughs> I didn't know know what arm I was saying. And with the wings, you fold the arms back up into the wings, and with the wings you can either, the instructions say to have them downwards like this. That really messes with articulation. But I like having them out uh, like this towards the side for both of them. Also, I like kind of like to keep these tips folded in the edge of the wings and fold up this a little bit. It kind of gives some surface kind of like, it's like, oh, it's not a plane anymore, it's an arm. Or, it's not just an arm with plane parts hanging off, it's actually an arm with some extra stuff. Or you could actually fold this stuff up. Add some extra bulk. I kind of like leaving it out like that. There we got an arm. We'll go ahead and place it on him there. We got an arm. Now we'll take our left, or right leg, actually. You can make him the left leg, but I like making him the right leg because that's what it shows. And we are getting, uh, transform, basically all you do is transform him back into tank, so, but, uh, while I'm doing this, we are getting, um, a power core body 
Iron Army Power Core body by TFC as well. And it's turning into a, what looks like a British half track. All we've seen is the silhouette. We don't know what vehicle it is. Uh, what you want to do before this, though, basically you turn back in the tank, but you give him um, a foot. Oh, and something I meant to actually show you before I, I'll go ahead and uh, put this part there. Well, uh, what I actually meant to show that I haven't seen anyone else point out on these about the feet here. Pull that down. Pull this back up. Get everything where it should be. Tab that back into place. We got that combiner joint right there. You can leave that combiner joint in there. But before I put this back on, I want to point out something. I uh, use the tank turret to actually pull it out. Alright, these this turns into a gun. Which makes me think that the new body is coming out with more is coming with more uh, different lint, like different feet parts but what but then I also noticed that this has like a look, hatch looking thing and a where you can see out of it but then put that there it's another tank thing I never saw it doesn't point out in the instructions it's just there no I've never seen anyone else point that out Peg that back into place, and then uh, put that back on, wrinkle that up, and peg it into the right leg socket. You can see where I'm going with this, it's freaking huge. Well, it's bigger than a normal power core combiner. And you know what, for stability, let's go ahead and get this other leg nut. Same, you can do the same thing with him. His, this turn, it's the two feet parts are exactly, the two foot parts are exactly the same. I mean, they are exactly the same. Hatches right there, the things there, and the where you see out is right there, so. Hmm. But, um, ah, uh, whoa, lamp almost fell. Kind of need that. It'd go dark, because I have the main light off. What you want to do is, uh, same thing, fold it back up into vehicle mode, but take this part in there. When you do so, pull this guy back up and if, get, pull, get everything back. And, uh, and this is one thing I wish with the tanks. I wish this could come out just as a transformation thing to help, because getting this part back, this tread section back together is a pain. It really is. Stick the turret back on. Hmm. Arm, leg goes in. I think the other body will be a little bit bigger because these limbs seem a little bit big on a normal power core combiner. I mean, look, kind of has almost a gorilla arm thing going on. Meaning, I think the torso is going to be a little bit bigger. Here we got. Oh no, I'm running out of battery. I should hurry up. This will be the last review for tonight. Basically, get this guy back up. But, uh, pull this apart down, take this into his leggies, pull it down his legs more, um, and with this I like doing, I like doing this with the same thing with the other one, except I actually like leaving the wings normal. Basically, you just fold them up like uh, back and going back to vehicle mode. So you just fold them out like this. It's what I like to do. And it, and it tells you to do the same thing with these ones: is put them down like this. Well, I don't like it like that. I like it like up like this because it gets in the way of articulation. 
butt. Now for his gun, what you want to do is... There's no official transformation on this, I do not think. For his gun, you want to flip this part in, and you see there's a little peg hole here. Well, you want to peg this here. Strain it all out. You can give him the gun. There's a like a notch that you can put 5mm weapons in, because I tried out with some... Uh, it's really hard to get it in because this thing it doesn't the thing does not lock into place anywhere. It's it's just free. Here, let me go ahead and I'll get this on and I could slide the hand back on. There we go. And uh It's like 3 in the morning. <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to be so loud, but that. But, uh. Shiz. Shiz, shiz, shiz. But, uh. Can hold this gun. I mean, I get him to hold it all the time. It's just with the review. He. he it doesn't want to cooperate. <sighs> God. Just because I'm shooting the review doesn't mean. I'm gonna pinch myself. I bet. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, God. It will hold 5mm weapons. It just doesn't... It's, it takes a bit of force. It's hard to keep it in the... Keep it straight without angling. God. I can get this. I'm gonna do it off camera. Review. Move that. But, uh, while I'm actually doing this, you must be wondering, why do you keep calling these guys by the Combaticons' names? Well, ah, there we go. We finally got in. Finally got in. Whew. Thank Primus for that. Oh, God. Friggin' think I threw my arm out of whack trying to get that in place. But, uh, there we go. Got it in. Got it in his hand. There we go. There we got Power Core Combiner Heavy Tread with the limbs. And I must say, he looks pretty freaking awesome. But that new limb body, that new body would look better. But, before I tell you why, let's cover articulation. Um, shoulders move as normal, like that. Um, swivels here at the elbow bends at the elbow. This can bend upwards, and it bends inward and outward, like that. And you can switch the hand around so it's like going downwards and stuff. Same thing with the other one, except that one, this can't go down flat all the way. Legs, they go out like that, kind of swivel up there almost, bends at the knee, does that. Then foot can go forward, it can bend. It can bend side to side. It's I like it. Except when you're trying to bend it back into place, those heel pieces that turn into the bottom part that turn into five millimeter weapons is kind of stupid. But uh, you must be wondering why you keep calling these guys by the Combaticon names. Well, do you not notice? How do you not notice? Um, let's see. Blast off. Brown. On. On Bruticus, G1 Bruticus, blast off is brown. Vortex is this bluish color, and not bluish color, color, but this grayish one with bluish or purple highlights, depending if you're looking the cartoon or the toy. Maybe not bluish and the and either, but they didn't want to add purple to that. They want to keep it accurate to the plane as well. But he was Vortex was gray. Brawl was a green tank. This is basically Brawl. And then Swindle was a yellow jeep. But this is a tank. To keep in line with these two being planes and these two being jeeps. Which means... 
the body being released by TFC for the Iron Army set that may or may not be a British half-track truck. It would keep with the theme, considering that's Japan, America, Germany, Soviet Union, big players in World War II. British would be keeping in with the theme, being a British half-track truck and unique to the other, to his drones, would be a World War II version of Onslaught and a Power Core Combiner version of Onslaught, which would be just plain awesome. <laughs> But, um, yeah, this is a really nice set. If you can get this for cheaper than 70 bucks or 60 depending on where you get it from, I see the cheapest place I've seen it from is Robot Kingdom. Um, it's $25.99 per set. Set A and set B are $25.99 a piece. That's not too bad. That's 10 bucks cheaper, but the shipping is going to be like. 20, 25 bucks, maybe 15, depending. Because these things don't weigh much at all. I mean, this isn't heavy. Most of the weight, I think, is in this. But this, the plastic on this, it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It's really strong, lightweight, sturdy plastic. Really nice. Um, you can get it, get it. It's really good. But, uh, um, TFC, you, you, know, you knocked it out of the park with this one. I mean, I don't even have I don't even have the complete Hercules yet, but still, knocked it out of the park. Great job, guys. Keep making more third party. I'll probably still be buying. I like your stuff. Um, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, be sure to watch Good Morning Cybertron. Subscribe. Check out more of my reviews. You'll probably like them. I got more third party stuff coming your way. Um, I got Hercules coming. Hercules figures coming up, three of them, and then the other three, once I save up to get them. Um, protector armor, I'm going to eventually pick up, because I can now. Um, Fans Project, Munition or Explorer, they re-release it, I'm definitely picking it up. Um, that's it for this one, uh, watch Good Morning Cybertron, subscribe. Um, Check out more videos, and that, that's it for this one, guys. See you all next time.